moment, doing a final get things ready. Oh, we might need a little more light. So welcome to Monday. You're gonna laugh when I show you what I messed up, but it'll be okay. So if you're here, of course, say hi. we got all right oh we're almost there sorry I messed something up again so come on in hey Barbara <laughs> I will be there in one second I'm trying to get my light set up and it's this one okay I'm gonna fix my diagram so I can show you guys and hope I do it right All right, we need one more light. Ugh. My brother happened to call me. So if you're here early, you get this fun, weird banter. My brother happened to call me right at eight o'clock and I didn't want to like not chat him up. So, <laughs> hey Jade, hi Angie. So, but I'm actually okay, I got one minute, but I thought I would start this that way. Um, it's nice to give it a moment for people to gather. Sometimes I think I jump right in and then I people miss it a little bit because you know. They didn't get the alert right away. Okay, we have lights. They're not perfect, but they'll work. My batteries were charging. <laughs> All right, I think, I think I'm here. Okay, all right, let's see if I can press the buttons. Hi, crafty friends. It's Audra Monk, the crafty yogi, and welcome to the crafty corner. All right, happy Monday. Monday's always such a fun day. All right, I'm gonna press some other buttons that you can't see, okay. Let me move this out of the way. All right, so Monday's mini class. This is actually kind of fun. Although on the fly, I had to change it a little bit. I'm gonna show you how to make one of these, oop, wait, there we go. One of these cute little, um, little, it's actually big. The bottom is four by four. It's called an exploding handbag. And I thought, well, one, I just wanted to make one. <laughs> and two, I thought they'd be really good if you need a last minute Easter treat or for Mother's Day, um, they'd be really fun. I mean, they're, they're, they're nice. So that's what we're gonna make. But first I'm gonna go over the classes and what's going on real fast. So if you catch this video much later, oh, hi Roxanna. Um, you might wanna fast forward through this first part. Um, you can of course listen to it. I'm totally cool with that. But if you're here just to make the projects, feel free to fast forward to where you gotta go. Okay, so I'm gonna press some more buttons. All right, here's the desk, all right. I'm always so happy when I press them in the right order. All right, so we'll talk about the cute little exploding handbag in a moment. Um, I had seen one of these, and I, I like the occasional, it's an origami-style project, and I think they're really fun. But then I thought, Mother's Day, if you need a last-minute Easter, you could totally make it look like an Easter basket. You could have fun with that. Okay, but before we get there, let's go over what's coming up, because I got a lot. Everything got crammed together in April, and I'm really sorry about all that. Um, if you like your projects more spaced out, um, but I was away this weekend for my birthday, which was super fun. So um, I did put pictures, I think I did put regular pictures on um, Facebook. Uh, otherwise, normally I put those in stories and you can see them on Facebook and Instagram. But I think I always try to do a wrap up. Um, and then I'll be away. Um, so this coming weekend is Easter. And then the next weekend, I have the Maker's Mojo on all day Saturday. It's $45 if you want to, uh, 10 presentations with tutorials. So there's 10 tutorial videos, there's 10, it's a big giant PDF. Um, and we have a special surprise guest presenter from the Stampin' Up! Home Office. Um, you can still sign up for this. Um, and if you can't watch it all day that Saturday, it's okay because it'll all get recorded and we'll email you all the information after. So I have Maker's Mojo coming up. And then that same weekend 
is my birthday card buffet. And so I wanted to show you what that is in case you didn't know. And this is available to go. So buffet cards are only $3 a piece. And the general idea is that they'll be quick and easy. Um, lots of times you use a lot of DSP. Um, they're just really fun uh, to do. And so there's 10 cards, which um, I've been posting them. I like this one. I think this is kind of cute. And they can be to go because there's not a lot of stamping to them. Um, and so if you get this to go, there won't be a butterfly there, but you'll get that butterfly shape and you could totally just put that on there. Um, I thought this was cute. I cased this from, I think it was Brian King. Normally I put spaces between my paper, but he made one where it was all um, together and I thought that was really kind of cool. So I did that. Um, and so you just pick the card. Say you like this card and you want two of them. I will emboss and die cut everything and you'll just get this blank little piece right here. And um, then I would prep that for you. Um, I don't do a video for birthday buffet because they are pretty simple, um, but you can look at all the pictures to help you. Um, okay, so that's how buffet works. And I do still have two spots in person for that Saturday if anybody, uh, oh sorry, the birthday buffet is on Sunday the 24th if anybody in town would like to come. Okay, because I'm keeping it small still. All right, let me put this away properly so I don't mangle my cards. Um, and the RSVP is by tomorrow because Wednesday morning I'm going to start cutting and prepping and embossing and my helper is going to come and we are going to get those ready. All right, and then just cards. Um, this is $22 uh, pickup and $26 ship. It says RSVP by 414 but I might extend that. Um, normally I make the RSVP piece Sunday or Monday. I think I was thinking I would want to get ahead, but I think that I'm going to be busy enough. <laughs> so this one, um, you're going to get a two pack with DSP and it might vary. And I made it as a baby card, but you could make it as a wedding card, a birthday card, an anniversary card. It could be anything. And then you'll get two of each of these. So you'll get all these little fun strips and you just add your greeting there. And then we might need some Mother's Day cards, which actually those birthday ones, some of those would make great Mother's Day cards too. I like this one. This will be fun. Um, so that is just cards. Okay. And then I think we should just jump into our project here. All right. Because there's lots of fun stuff coming in May. But, oh, and catalogs. Catalogs. <coughs> Excuse me. I got my box today. So if you don't already have a demonstrator and you would like a catalog, uh, let me know. And I will send one out to you. Um, or if you live local, I'll have one um, for you to pick up, and that would be great. I can't show you what's in it. We can start ordering on May 3rd. What's on the back? Ooh, just some pretty flowers. May 3rd, we can start ordering. All right, now let's talk about this cute little exploding handbag. All right, so what I have figured out is I'm already going to design change it right here with you. I think designer series paper is too fragile for the flap, especially with the Velcro. But let me show you what it looks like. So you open it and watch this. And it's just the whole piece of paper. So you could put, I would put white here and make this be like the card part if you wanted. Or if you're just going to fill it with um, treats or candy. Let's see, how does this go? Yeah, so the front and the back fold together and you fold it all up. But I have learned, now that I've played with it just a little, that I think uh, designer series paper is too flimsy for the top. So we're gonna rework it right now. If you needed it to be an Easter basket, I would do this, Will you? because you do need 12 by 12 for the base. I would do this in like one of the ginghams or flowers, and then this part I would do in crumb cake, and you might emboss it. Um, we have kind of a weavy one, but anyway, we're gonna work this out so that it'll be nice and strong for you. And this paper was that um, Eden's Garden special paper, whatever, you know, a special limited edition. So I thought this was a fun, it just the colors were really pretty. All right, so what paper did I pick? <laughs> I picked, this was the free celebration paper. Um, this is a great project for those of us that have a lot of designer series paper and maybe sometimes um, we tuck it away and then you're like, oh, what could I do? So I was thinking I was going to use this. Oh, that kind of looks pretty with my nails. Um, that I would use this piece, um, but you could use anything. And then for the flap, now though I know I need to add 
Let me see what we could use. I hadn't decided yet, and now I know we need to add some cardstock. So, where was? Maybe I'll use the stripey. I'll use the stripes, and we'll add. We're gonna put it on top of cardstock. Oh, but we need, and we need a piece for the handle. Now the handle is tricky because you do. You know what? Yeah, because that handle feel. But you know what? They're not gonna carry it. I don't think we need to reinforce the handle. It is definitely um, soft. But you do need 12 inches to make that handle. So you could do it in white. We have white um, 12 by 12. You could do that. Or you could do it in colors. If you buy the, I buy the in color ones to, for scrapbooking a lot of times. But tonight I'm just going to use designer series paper. And I'm going to do it in the same. So I'm going to pull this out. Okay. And then I'm going to get, um, you know, because it'll be two layers. So I'm just going to get some white for that. Let me grab a piece of white. Okay. All right. And now I'll show you why I was laughing at the beginning. Hey, Don. <laughs> um, I kept drawing the diagram wrong. And then I was like whiting it out and doing the same thing. So that's what happens when you rush. So the easy part is the first scoring. So we'll move all this out of the way. We're going to score first. Oh, let me get my scoreboard. Okay. Is that you score all of the sides at four inches. Okay. Make sure you can see that. So let's see. Okay, we can see it. Good. So all the sides at four inches. Oh, you know what? I did not check. Let me turn this up. Okay, so you may have to turn it down. Again, I forgot to check the volume. That's what you get for talking to your brother on the phone. Um, but my brother's going to come from Utah to visit in May. And my mom is going to come visit. So there might not be any videos that week <laughs> until they go away. They're only here for just a couple days. Ah. Uh, and my brother's never, and his wife have never been to my house here. Okay. All the sides. Did I get them all? All at four inches. Okay. We'll get rid of this for a minute. We're going to need it again. But I want to show you this part first. Oh, and you keep your stylus. And you need a ruler. Okay. All the sides at four inches. And then Audra needs her glasses. All right. So let's hope I do this part right. And not wrong. Although if I do it wrong, it's easy to refold and no one will notice those extra lines. They won't. Okay, so what I want to do is on the edge of the middle piece. So we're gonna do the hard one first and the next are easy. So you have to make your diagonal scores. There's just no way to do it with the scoreboard. I think we used to have a diagonal plate and I'm pretty sure I actually had one, but I think I either sold it or threw it away because I was never using it. And I think I tried to sell it and nobody wanted it. Um, okay, so at two, you know what? I better put a pencil mark. Do I have a pencil? No, I don't have a pencil. All right, I'll do a really light pen mark. Oh, wait. Nope, that's paintbrush. Hold on. Sorry, my head's like super close. <laughs> Nothing's better than seeing someone's. Oh my gosh, I don't even have a pen today. All right, got this marker. Okay, so I'm going to put a dot at two. And then from my dot, you know what? I also need something to push into. Hold on. Because I only have one piece of grid paper. I think it's nice to give it something to push into. All right, so from my dot, so this is a little origami. We're going to have some fun. You go to the corner. And then I just use my stylus. You can use your bone folder. That'll work too. And do that line okay and then you do it this line so two of them we have to make the mountain because that will give us that fold in at the corner it makes a funny noise okay so then we're gonna flip that all the way over and do the same again so let me get my pen so from your score line ooh, that's hard to see to your four so it's four inches long I'm just going to put a dot at two. And then, okay, so I don't need the marker anymore. And then from your dot, now totally somebody has to make one of these and share it tomorrow. I'll post a picture sometime tomorrow. Hopefully in the morning. We'll see if I can do it before I go to work. And where's my intersection? There it is. Okay, so from our dot to our corner. All right, so you made two mountains, and then on your four edges, you go from the inside to the out. And you don't have to um, 
do a mark because you can do the edge and then I'll show you how to kind of make sure you get it right in case it wasn't perfect. Um, where is it? There it is. Because when I folded the one earlier, I was like, oh, so you could just really pay attention. Oops. I was like how that one did not go exactly where I wanted it. Okay. From the corner. You know what? Maybe I need to go like this. It's funny how different paper shows up better than others. I could see it on that green paper. Hold on. I don't know if I did them all. Oop. Okay. Hold on. Go ahead and fold those. <laughs> I have decided that you need to fold those. Oh, and I totally forgot. I am offering free shipping for the month of April for my birthday. Um, so it's my gift to you. Okay, I did that one. So all four corners. And, uh, but you have to order on my website and use the host code and it won't automatically take it off. Once you order, then I'm gonna reimburse you. So, and I can send it to you through PayPal or Zelle or uh, whatever, Venmo. So it's just my little treat. So, um, but of course I'd appreciate it if you don't do like a bunch of little orders because shipping is now, just so you know, it went up a dollar. It's now $7.95 or 11%. But considering the entire almost 10 years I've been with Stampin' Up, it's been the same. So I don't think that's outrageous. And you guys know that shipping is not cheap. Okay, I did them all. All right, one sec, I gotta grab a drink of water. <laughs> I totally forgot all the things because I was excited about this little bag. All righty, now. We're in business. So let's fold this and then we'll do the other pieces. So you wanna fold on all your creases. You can um, ooh, you can do your whole little like burnish thing if you want. Let me fix that, all right. But I don't think it's really necessary. So here's what you do on the, the folds here. Let's see, oh, I think you can see it better on the flower side. Is you come to the corner and if you didn't get it quite right, line it up. Can I do this in the air? And then you can fold that. And if you wanna take your bone folder, give it a little go. Okay, so get the corners. So you can line it up the best you can using the paper. This is giant. I bet you could make a little version on six by six paper, but um, <laughs> it'd be very tiny. But I think it would be cute. It'd be good for like, you know, that little party favor. I think this would be fun for uh, like, what do you call it? Like a, a shower, like a bridesmaid's thing, what, a wedding shower <laughs> or a baby shower um, to put little gifts in. All right, and then our ones that are in the middle, where's my middle piece? Fold those. Okay, and we're gonna hope that I did them the right way this time. Where's that last one? Okay. All right, so then let me show you how this goes together. Then what happens is the back and the front fold together. And then when you bring this together, the reason we had to do those fun diagonal lines is so it folds up like this. Look at that. How cute is that? It is super cute. And the base is pretty sturdy. I mean, I think we will we'll add cardstock to the inside, and that'll make the bottom sturdy. So it's pretty easy once you get that part. All right, so now set this aside, and here's where we're gonna use some cardstock. So we need a piece, let me get my notes here. We need a piece that is seven by four, and that's gonna wrap around the whole time. Okay, so I need a trimmer. Oops. Gotta, uh-oh, <laughs> my desk is so messy. I don't even have, like, I can't even set this flat. Oh. I'm spending my life right now just saying, oh my goodness, if I would just clean up. But uh, it's, it's a struggle for sure, as most of you guys know. It's when, when it's like this, I kinda wish I had like a craft room where it wasn't just in my house, but um, it's okay. It's good many other times. All right, seven by four, and then we're gonna do that again with our, de our designer series paper, but you could also have a solid flap. That would be okay. I think I want it to go like Mm. Hold on, I'm thinking. Do I want it to look like that? Yeah, I want it to look like that. Okay, so that needs to be four. 
Ooh, I squiggled it. By seven. Okay, and then the other thing we need to cut is the strap, and that is 12 by 3 fourths. So make sure you have a piece of 12 by 12. And you just cut it at 3 fourths. What's on the back? Nope, we're going to keep that side down. Okay, and then we'll bring in our scoreboard. I don't know why. I just like scoring on the scoreboard better. But I do use the trimmer all the time. Okay, so both of these, you know, we're, I think we could score them together. So they'll be the same. We are going to score at four. Let me double check my notes. Yep, four and at five. So scored at four. And then scored at five. Okay, and then this little guy gets scored at one and a half on both ends. Okay. We are in business. Now, we are going to attach these two pieces together so that our flap is stronger. And I wonder if I should have just, maybe I should have uh, attached them before I scored them, but I think it'll be okay. All right, so we're going to glue. Now, you could get fancy and cut this, you know, a quarter inch smaller. That might be fun. You could round corners. You know, you can get all super crafty in there, but... Quite often when I do a video, I like to keep it super simple so that it's less confusing. Doesn't always mean it is, but that's my intention, is that it's less confusing. Look at that. Okay, and then we'll just fold those over. Okay, I'll take all this extra paper out of the way. Alrighty, let's fold and burnish since we have two layers of paper there. Yeah, I think that, so I saw this idea, it was on Split Coast Stampers, I wrote it down, and I was like, I think I wrote it down, and they have, it wasn't stamping up paper, so it must have been some kind of really thick paper, but look how cute that is. You know what, I am going to round those, and I don't know if it's still available, but this is on the uh, last chance list. So I'm going to be a little sad. We won't officially have a quarter rounder. But I'm guessing it's because people buy them all sorts of places. So dig out your old one. If you still have it. Um, I think. Let me see in my drawer. Do I still have it? Yes. Who has a Creative Memories quarter rounder? I will just be using that when I need to. I use that a lot sometimes when I need because it's it works really well. It's very old. It's like. 15 years old or something. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. Okay, bring in your bag. Fold it up. But look at how much stuff you could put in there. You know what? I'm going to put, let's put a bottom in here. So we need something right under 4 by 4 And I have a piece of white paper. So let's do this. I'm not going to stamp it. If you were going to stamp it, I would probably, let's do this at, Three and seven eighths by three and seven. I would stamp it before you make the bag. Like if you wanted to do it, because I think it'd be really cute for Mother's Day. Um, although even though my mom will be in town for Mother's Day, I actually put her home uh, frame project in the mail today. I did a double. My dad's birthday is Friday. So remember the baseball card I made him, that little trifold baseball card. I put that in the mail, my mom's home kit. I gave her two packs of my uh, random... There's a dot on that. My random cards, so I'm gonna put this side down. Um, so, and she got her cute Mother's Day card that I'm pretty sure I made it on a video. They both got slimline cards of different kinds, but I put it all in the mail today. So my mom is covered for Mother's Day because I didn't want her to have to worry about getting this stuff here. Uh, we'll take her out to dinner. Okay, so we're gonna put a base in there. We got a base. And you could layer that up, you could do, you know, you could get really creative. Stamp it, all right. But let's make the bag. All right, so we put the back and the front. We can't bring it together. So how this works is it covers the whole back. And then it, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so cute. And so my problem also, last time I did my Velcro too tight. So I was at an angle. 
So you want to make sure when you do the Velcro, and I'll show you how to do that, that we leave space for that to happen. Okay, so we're going to put glue on here. It's so funny, it explodes because we don't have it put together. So we're going to put glue on this inside part. And I would definitely recommend liquid glue, and you know why, because it gives you wiggle room. Especially when things are a little fiddly. Okay, so let's see if I can do this. Alright, so this goes here. And it doesn't matter which side is the front on your paper. And this goes here. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then what I like to do, I, like I'm an expert, I made one of these <laughs> before dinner. Before we walked the dog and went to dinner. Well, <laughs> um, one cool thing where we live is you when you walk your dog, um, there's like, a few things you can walk to so we just had a subway sandwich for dinner because nobody felt like cooking and we didn't have a lot of groceries so I made it right before I walked the dog and went to dinner okay so we have all that done got a sticky spot okay and then the handle now on my last one I actually had to peel the handle off so then I made a little uh, piece to cover it so what you want to think about is the handle goes here I glued mine like totally the wrong way the first time because I was rushing. So we're going to put our glue on the inside. Of the flaps. Okay. And then these go here. So you could cut a piece at four by, you know, um, what is this? Is the inch four by seven eighths if you want to cover this up and that's what I did I'll show you I'll open the other one I'm not going to do it right now but you could totally do that and so we put our glue on there and we want to make sure it's stuck but you don't want to squish your handle so I guess you have to do this up in the air okay let's hope I did it right and I don't have to peel it off <laughs> oh, I did it right look at that look how cute that is Super cute. Okay, so now we're gonna do the Velcro and we're not gonna squash it too much. That's the problem with it exploding. It's always exploding. All right, so one time I bought this Velcro. I'm sure I got it from Amazon. I could try to find the link. Um, and it's big, but I, I think I bought it for one project and then we didn't end up using it. So I will be supplied with Velcro dots for a very long time. You could also do, um, magnets I think but then you would want to add an extra layer so the velcro dots I, if I'm doing it not the best way someone tell me but I um, cut them apart and I stick them together okay and then this I know I just want it in the center so then I peel this off one side off and you got to stick your fingernail in there this is some industrial velcro so maybe my velcro is just too hardcore too that could have been the problem and so I'm just gonna put that right in the center all right and then I'm gonna peel this off same thing holding on to it so it stays where it needs to go oh my goodness ah. <laughs> it's so, you see me grinding my teeth it's super sticky that is some that is some sticky uh, double-sided tape there. Okay, now I'm going to fold this up. Okay. It's so funny I'm doing that okay thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> and center that. And then push this down. Let's see if I can get my... Ah, oh, look at that. You can get your finger in there. You can get your finger in there from both sides. Yes. You're kind of squishing your finger, but squish that on. Now, you could leave it simple like this, but you could decorate it. I don't know that I'm going to put these on, but um, I had leftovers. I'm working on the um, ladybug banner kits, and we had punched too many flowers. So what I was thinking is, I think I'll just do the white one. So the ladybug kit had white and yellow. This is the medium daisy. 
And I like to make my flowers with at least two layers. And then I put a glue dot in the middle. So I stick a glue dot down. I love this medium daisy. I love the large daisy. The large daisy is um, on the, the last chance list. I actually got an extra one. Um, and the cat punch was on the last chance list. And I bought an extra one. I'm not really sure why, but I just felt like those were punches I would like to have more of. And they were on sale, so that was nice. And then we'll put a glue dot and put that little yellow center. If you wanted to get super matchy-matchy, you could do a pale papaya one or, you know, with this paper, um, do one of the other colors. But I think it would be fine like this. And so then, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I'm totally putting that on. Um, I think right there at the center. You could do three across. That would be very fun. But I'm just going to put this one. I thought it would look cute with little daisies on it. And I saw these little daisy pieces and I was like, oh my gosh. Okay. You know, I'm going to put it up kind of high. Like right in the middle. And there is my little purse. Okay, so it looks like I'm slightly off, but it's okay. And the sides are all nicely folded. Okay, so let's see if we can open the Velcro. This, oh, my goodness, that's some good, <laughs> some good Velcro. So if you don't want industrial Velcro, I think use a little magnet. So it explodes. You put your things. Why you would give people a block, I don't know. You put your things inside. You fold your front, you fold your back. You close it up, and you're good to go. There is your cute little bag. Isn't that adorable? Oops, I didn't close that all the way. Let's close that all the way more. I thought that was so cute, and I like that it's kind of big. So that's four inches by four inches. You could certainly fill it with candy, uh, a couple, if you were giving it as a gift, like maybe you have a college student or a high school student, um, some of your plastic eggs full of money and coupons and things like that. I think that that could be very, very fun. Uh, Mother's Day, you could give, um, same thing, a gift card, gift certificate. Did I get that right? No, I'm not getting it down far enough. Okay, there we go. Oh, and that extra layer, you need that extra layer. You want that extra layer of cardstock. That is super nice. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Now I want to know who I could give it to. <laughs> Your purse-loving friend, um, you could give it to them. Okay, let me press a button so we can chat one second together. Um, okay, hold on. There we go. There we go, my friends. So I hope that you like, what did I call this? This exploding handbag. I hope the video was clear and you could understand it. Um, and the little tips and tricks that I had for you. Um, have fun if you make one. I will post a picture tomorrow um, and it would be super, oh, hold on. This would be super cute. Watch this. There we go, we'll do that in the reverse so you can see that. So this would be super cute if you made one. Um, I think um, Easter, Mother's Day, birthdays, like I said, your purse, oh, your friend who loves purses. And um, could you staple the accordion sides? Hmm, like so it wouldn't explode. Jade's asking a question, let's see. I think if you stapled them, uh, you could, it would only open this far. So if you stapled the accordion sides, because I actually thought about that, um, it would just open that far, which would be okay. But if you wanted to decorate it and get really fancy, because you could decorate this piece and this piece, which is a lot of times what happens with an accordion, um, you could, but you could totally staple it. But I think you would want all of the paper because the, the paper is what makes it sturdy. Um, it's, I don't know, it's just super fun. I wish, well, my niece, I don't know if my niece would still like it. She's like 14, 15 now. But I think any kid, 10 or under, would think this is adorable. But I think any grown woman would also think it's adorable. So there we go. Um, so there you go. All right. So any questions, anything you need, let me know. I hope you have a great Monday or whenever you find this video. Give me the likes. Give me the loves. Click I don't know, notifications, ring the bell, do all of the things that you need to do on YouTube or Facebook so that you can find out every time I make a video. Um, if you watch the replay, I'm happy to see your comments and reply to them. Um, although it doesn't always happen right away. Sometimes I don't get them um, for, you know, a few days, but I try my best. So if you need anything, let me